Today we're gonna to talk about freight broker factoring. How to use OPM to grow your business. Now, who here guessed what OPM stands for? OPM stands for other people's money, okay? Let me first explain what freight broker factoring is. Freight broker factoring is a form of financing right? That allows a freight broker to pay their carriers and their core business expenses within 24 to 48 hours after moving a load. Okay. So it's a form of financing that allows freight brokers to, to pay their carriers and their core business expenses within 24 hours, 24 to 48 hours after they move a load. And the way that works is that the factoring company will actually purchase the invoice from you at a small discount, typically somewhere between one and a half and three and a half percent. They'll purchase that invoice at a small discount and then they'll advance you 90 to 95 percent of that invoice within 24 to 48 hours. They're going to give you that money within 24 to 48 hours. And then the factoring company will actually invoice the shipper, wait for that shipper to pay them within typically 30 to 60 days, and then what happens is they get paid and the transaction basically is complete, right? So that's the way it works. It's OPM stands for other people's money, right? And so the cool part about that is that in order to start a freight brokerage, it me if you leverage factoring, it means you don't have to have a bunch of money laying around, right? Like most of us don't have a bunch of money just laying around, stacked up, waiting to be used to start a freight brokerage, right? So, you know, what it allows you to do is it allows you to start your business without having a lot of capital. It allows you to grow your business without having a lot of capital, right? So let me explain to you the, the process of how factoring works for a freight broker. So as a freight broker, if you have a factoring company that you work with, for every one of your shippers, when you get a new shipper, you will submit that shipper to the factoring company and they will run credit on the shipper. So number one, it saves you time and money because they're going to run the credit. They're going to establish a credit line on the shipper and then you're going to book a load for that shipper then you're going to, the next step is you're going to send the invoice. After that load delivers, you're going to send the invoice to the factoring company. And then the factoring company is going to advance you up to 90 to 95% of that money within 24 to 48 hours. It's really that simple. Now, you can make it very complicated if you choose, but that's the basic framework of how factoring works and what factoring is. All right? So let's go into some of the benefits of factoring. And there are several. Number one, um, it allows you to obviously pay your carriers very quickly. This includes quick paying carriers. You could start quick paying your carriers, which can be very attractive to carriers in bringing new carriers in, recruiting carriers to carry your freight, and partnering with carriers that need that type of cash flow. So number one is you can quick pay carriers because you now have that money very quickly. You don't have to wait. 30 to 60 days to get paid by the shipper, all right? Number two, you have the ability to do fuel advances to the drivers. That's very attractive, right? You now have cash where you can do fuel advances to drivers. Many cases, owner operators need fuel advances or they will not even be able to cover your load and haul your load. Number three, fact, I said this before, factoring will run the credit on your shippers. So they are gonna run the credit, saves you time and money in running the credit, managing the credit, right? That credit management piece is an important part of business. And then number four, it allows you to grow your business quickly using OPM, right? So cash flow is one of the biggest challenges in growing any successful business. Most people think that it's about profit. It's really not about profit. You know, there's that old expression, cash is king. It's really not cash is king, it's cash flow is king. And cash flow 
is can be the life or death of any successful business, whether it's freight brokerage or not, right? So that financial process of invoicing shippers and getting paid by care by shippers and paying carriers, that financial management piece is a core component to number one, being a freight broker, because you are responsible as a freight broker to pay every carrier that you do business with. Um, but it's a, a core component of the business. And if you have, and if you're a startup and you have a factoring company to help you with that process, it can be very, very powerful, right? So now let's talk a little bit about the cost of factoring. I mentioned to you briefly that the cost of factoring typically range between one and a half and three and a half percent. Now that that can the cost of factoring can be determined by a lot of different variables, but one of the primary variables is how long it takes the shipper to pay the factoring company. So if they pay them on time, then it's a lower rate. If they delay and pay them in 60 days, it could be a slightly higher rate. Okay. And so the cost of factoring, just to give it to you in, in easy numbers, if you were to move a shipment for a shipper and you were invoicing them $1,000, right? Let's just for easy math, say it was a $1,000 invoice. One and a half to three and a half percent of that means that the factoring company is only going to make $15 to $35. So anywhere between $15 and $35 is what they'll make for helping you factor that one invoice. Okay, so that's one and a half to three and a half percent. Now, it could be lower, it could be higher, but I'm giving you a range here of what the typical cost is. And so factoring is ex way more expensive than traditional financing. For example, if you were to have a credit line with a bank. And so typically factoring is used in a startup situation or in a high growth situation. And so what will happen is you'll leverage factoring as a way to get off the ground when you don't have capital or a credit line and or if you're going through a huge growth curve because they can help you stay ahead of all those carrier payments because they're willing to wait 30 to 60 days to get paid by their ship by the shippers and so again this is a temporary tool it's not a permanent long-term tool in my opinion okay some people do use it long term but in my opinion, it's a temporary tool until you're able to build up a relationship with a bank and a history with a bank where you can set up your own credit line. Ideally, if you're doing $100,000 a month in business, right, which would be a little over a million dollar a year business, right, which is still a pretty small freight brokerage, you know, you would only need about a $100,000 credit line. And so once you're able to build up that history with a bank where they see the deposits coming in and they see the carriers getting paid and they see that you're doing business the right way, maybe it takes a year or two to set up and develop that relationship with your bank where they will then extend you a credit line at a much lower cost than factoring. So again, Number one, I covered what is factoring. Number two, I covered what is the cost of factoring. Number three, I covered the benefits of factoring, right? Number four, I covered what is OPM, and that stands for other people's money, all right? Number five, I covered what is the process of factoring for freight brokers. And so I think that should fill in the blanks with a lot of the questions that you have. Now, again, you can make this as complex or as simple as you need. In your mind, my suggestion is keep it simple. Again, factoring is a form of financing that allows a freight broker to pay their carriers and their core expenses in 24 to 48 hours rather than having to wait 30 to 60 days to get paid by that shipper. And so that's the core function of factoring. And it's very acceptable, acceptable to use factoring when you start your freight brokerage. Right. So if you don't have to, if you have cash on the side or you have an established credit line or you have an investor or whatever you have, you don't you have to use factoring. There's no no problem with that. Save the money. OK, but if you don't have that, which is where most people are, I want you to understand that you can still start your freight brokerage by using this OPM strategy. And as a freight broker, it's called factoring. Now, if you're a freight agent, 
okay? This really doesn't apply to you. So if you're looking to become a freight agent, which is a great way to start, you do not have to worry about factoring. That is not going to impact you. That's the freight broker that you're working under is responsibility to do the financial management component of billing carriers, paying share, or, you know, billing carriers, you know, getting paid by shippers, doing all the cash management. Okay. For those of you that are curious or interested in getting started as a freight broker or freight agent, um, I have a 60 day, 100% money back guarantee. It's hundred percent risk-free for my freightbrokerbootcamp.com online training program. I've trained over 7,000 brokers and agents, 7,000 students. Many of them have went on to grow six and seven and even eight figure businesses. Um, again, I can't guarantee you anything, but the training is the exact same training that I was looking for when I got started. And most of you on this live know more about freight brokerage than I did when I first got started. So I put all those resources together. I've had that for over a decade now. Again, I keep on saying 7,000 because it's probably going to break 8,000 very soon. We add somewhere between 1,000 and 1,500 new students per year that go through that course. And so ultimately, it's a, it's a go at your own pace, um, work at home type of course. You guys can check that out. Okay? FreightBrokerBootCamp.com. All right, guys. Listen, I'm going to wrap it up for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Appreciate you being here. I hope you guys have an awesome day. Definitely um, keep the faith. And I will be back next Monday at noon. Have an awesome day and we'll talk soon.